The Matrix is getting mixed reviews. Oh my god. Holy fuck. That comes out tomorrow. And yeah, no shit. Didn't the first one get bad reviews as well? Hey yo, fuck Rotten Tomatoes, but oh, this let's let me look at Rotten Tomatoes. I thought the first one got bad reviews as well. Or maybe the second one. Like critics didn't like it. The Matrix 1999. Hold on, does this show some weird shit like get tickets or something and then it's like a lol? The first Matrix movie got a, uh, 88%. Audience score, 85%. I'm actually curious, what are the reviews like? What did people say? Uh, wait, when were these? Two hours ago? Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck is reviewing this movie? Two hours ago. Fucking Daniel B. Bro, you, like, what is this? The Matrix definitely lives up to its reputation. It's a great action movie with a great plot to complement the action. The concept of the movie is really interesting. Can you sort this shit by, like, I guess if you look at critic reviews, top critics. Top critics must do it. Okay, all fake comments. To be honest, the most reviews now come from diehard fans. I'm not surprised, because that's why you can't trust the early reviews, because a lot of the early reviews get early showings, so then you're like, well, no shit. Um, you were excited to go see it or something, or there's some bias. You have to wait. <sighs> you gotta wait on that. Usually when people see the movie like a week in advance, it's more like, oh my god, oh my god, I get to see it before everybody else, oh my god. Uh, you know? But reviews are kind of just like, uh, yeah, whatever. Reviews is kind of just like a small judge, a small, like setting the tone a little bit to an extent. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait, these are official reviews. 2013. The movie is nonsense, but it does achieve a brazenly cheek high style black on black airborne spasmodic this motherfucker using all these fucking words where other films are done in by the freedom offered by computer effects the matrix integrates them beautifully all right all right we got to go further back there's got to be okay <clears throat> i want to see when this shit first came out someone who saw it and was like what the fuck that was incredible 1999 okay like well, like when this shit came out you can't deny it was kind of like whoa that movie was there was no other movie like it kind of you know no like there wasn't any other uh that's why like a matrix coming out now might be a little corny because it's different. It was very relevant to the time uh, in a weird way. The Matrix serves up so much visual wizardry and thought-provoking ideas that even the inevitable silver touch a finale with more bullets than the opening of Saving Private Ryan. Can't destroy the magic. Wait, was when did Saving Private Ryan uh, release date? When did that movie come out? Wasn't it around 1998? I remember when Saving Private Ryan came out, people fucking lost their shit. Like, that movie was insane. It still is. I haven't, I haven't gone back and seen Saving Private Ryan. Uh, I, I would. I would go back and watch it, though. It's still good. The movie is still one of the best movies about war ever. There's kind of liberating, almost transforming energy in this film. It lights you up and sends you out all giddy with silliness. Uh, okay, hold up. All right, so these are early reviews. Wait, this guy didn't like it. It's astonishing that so much money, talent, technical expertise, and visual imagination can be put in the service of something so stupid. <laughs> oh, God. A blast of Holly Kong glitz that never approaches the stylistic cohesiveness of, say, John Woo's face-off or the charisma of that film's propulsive star, John Travolta. What the fuck? I don't even remember Face Off. I don't think I've ever seen Face Off. I haven't seen a lot of John Travolta movies, though. Like, I don't even think I've seen Grease in fucking full length. It was awful. John Woo sounds like a... He's directed a lot of shit, hasn't he? That sounds very familiar. 
John Woo. What has he directed? The Killer Face Off Hard Boiled A Better Tomorrow. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> wait. Uh, wait, he directed Mission Impossible 2. And wait, he directed Red Cliff. Wasn't that like a big ass Chinese movie with Brad Pitt or something? Or am I thinking of something else? Or no, not Brad Pitt, Matt Damon. Maybe I'm thinking of something. Uh, what was that? What was that big ass fucking movie that was like insanely high budget? Red Cliff is big ass dog. No, bro, that's fucking Clifford. The uh, the Great Wall. Oh, maybe. <clears throat> what the fuck? Silly and dense. The Matrix is really about filmmaking style rather than context. The Matrix not only is a failure of a science fiction movie, long on explanation, short on inspiration, but it doesn't do anything interesting with the futuristic vision that it takes forever to explain. The only thing energetic about the Matrix are its special effects. It may bore you to death or blow your mind, it's, and it's long and convoluted enough to do both, but it holds nothing back. Ultimately, the Matrix settles for a technically dazzling comic book shtick. Some might count this as a good thing, but I'm not a fan of the Wachowskis. More is more aesthetic. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, not everybody's going to like it, but it's still interesting uh, when this movie came out and then now what it is. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Lord of the Rings. Has someone actually reviewed this badly? It has a 95%. When did, when did Lord of the Rings come out? 2001. Top critics. Oh my god. Someone must have fucking watched that shit and been like, This is shit! What the fuck? I couldn't have just taken the fucking eagles to the mountain! Only complaint length of the movie? Yeah, because they probably have to go take a piss and they were holding it in. Oh my god! December 10th, 2001. Wait, when did it come out? December 19th, 2001. Oh, okay. The trouble is much the same sort of battle scene repeats itself every 20 minutes or so. Only the environments and the monsters inhabiting them are changed. Technically wonderful. Yes, but oh so monotonous. Okay, bro. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That's a bunch of fucking bullshit, okay? The Fellowship of the Ring resembles from certain angles nothing so much as a 178-minute electric mandolin solo. <laughs> Not wrong. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Jackson's adaption is certainly successful on its own terms. It would be an insult to say the picture merely lives up to its hype. It crashes the meaning of hype, exposing it as the graven image it is. Damn! An extraordinary work, grandly conceived, brilliantly executed, and wildly enter entertaining. True? True. Not since Gone with the Wind more than 60 years ago has a movie held up as well to the original book. Oh my god. Wait, this is when the reviews weren't uh, paid? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. <laughs> Payment received? Okay. This is 2001. They were paid a little bit. Now everybody's paid. Check Avatar The Last Airbender. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Okay, I will say, Avatar The Last Airbender fucking made no sense. Wait, hold on. One other. Because these are all 2001 reviews. Genuinely transporting the this Lord Reigns. Fellowship is exciting for two hours. How many other movies can you say that about? A well-crafted and sometimes stirring adventure. Oh my god, Roger Ebert. I used to remember, I, I followed his reviews for a good amount of time back in the day. Uh, rest in peace. The movie or the animated TV show? Uh, wait, what do you mean animated TV show? What, Avatar? The fuck? Avatar, The Last Air... No, not The Last Airbender. Are we talking about the fucking Airbender? 2009. 2000 fucking nine. I thought this movie was kind of like, whatever. It was all right. It was like, yeah, Titanic in space. Uh, where is this? Top critics. 
Cameron knows the viewer will recognize Avatar story from some, uh, elsewhere, whether as the love affair between John Smith and Pocahontas or almost all of Fern Gully. Oh, dude, Fern Gully was a good ass movie. And so tries to dazzle the viewer with shock and awe. You know, no matter how you feel about this movie, though, you can't deny, like, right after this shit came out, like, every movie went into 3D. Every theater had some sort of... They, like, ushered in 3D. Personally, fuck... Ugh, I never liked 3D. It was fucking annoying. There was, like, no point. It was kind of like, okay... I was like, I'm not feeling anything different here wearing these fucking glasses. I will have I will have the same experience sitting here without the glasses and be more comfortable. Wait, do they still do 3D? Wait, what the fuck? Do theaters still do 3D and give you glasses? Does IMAX still give you glasses? Bro, the last fucking IMAX movie I, w I went to... Oh shit, I don't even remember. I saw the original Lord of the Rings in fucking IMAX. The Dark Knight trilogy I saw in fucking IMAX opening day. Those were those were the good ones. I haven't gone to an IMAX in a fuck of a long time. I never saw Dune in IMAX, but I could see that being good. Interstellar. Saw that shit like three times. In fucking IMAX. Opening fucking bullshit. Upscaled 3D sucks ass. I mean, uh, the fact I saw, uh, what's it called? Well, oh my god, what was that Marvel movie that came out? It was alright. It was alright. It was just, like, more Marvel shit. Okay, okay, not to say shit. Okay, shit, my bad, my bad. I know, relax, pitchforks, relax. Shang-Chi, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cool seeing the first thing that said IMAX, uh, like, like a digital IMAX thing to watch. Like, that was actually kind of sick. Um, I'm surprised they didn't do that with their Dune release and had, like, a digital IMAX-adapted, camera-adapted uh, Dune release. But Disney Plus did it with fucking Shang-Chi. I wonder if that's going to be a standard for the big-ass movies now. Because if Disney Plus is fucking doing it, I'm assuming all these other motherfuckers are going to do shit with the big-ass movies. Clownfield 2042 is an FPS where you take a role of a unique soldier equipped with six weapons that has to fight enemy and win the front after 2022 crypto crash. Majority of nations collapsed and a union of no clowns has been formed and you happen to be one of them. Arm up and get ready for... Fuck! What happens next? Get ready for the war. Oh. <laughs> new diablo 4 gameplay what is this 10 minutes i still you know believe in diablo you know i believe despite everything happening uh in that company and some uh others leaving due to the stupidity and the Shitty people there. Is this part of the Diablo 4 pre-alpha build? It's gonna come down to now if the people who are working at Blizzard now, who actually are there just to, you know, actually do their job type shit. If they can make the game what people want it to be when it releases. I don't know, though. Didn't, like, the, uh... Didn't, like, the design lead leave? Don't do the PoE is better thing. Don't do the PoE is better. Not yet. Not yet. PoE is good, but you know, sometimes new stuff is fun. New stuff. New stuff. New stuff. We get it. PoE is good. But PoE also is like... You know. New stuff is fun. <laughs> like PoE 2, I'm looking forward to.
It feels like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is the most they've shown of gameplay uncut. I don't like how there's a one, two, three, four left, right space at the bottom of the UI. Like why? They should lower that shit. It's, it's unnecessary. What the fuck? Who needs that a hundred hours into the game? Two hours into the game. Free alpha UI? Ah, I don't know about that. Diablo 3's UI was better. You have never played a game for a hundred hours. Nimbus, I don't, I don't even need to defend... I don't even need to respond to you right now. Because that is just a stupid statement. Okay. How is it true? I, how is it true when I have proof on my Steam account? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I don't even need to prove it because it's stupid. <laughs> I'd rather keep watching the gameplay. I would say what's weird right now is... Ooh, that boulder's fun. Is this the druid? What is this? I would say the biggest thing is... Uh, it seems like there's not a lot of mobs. But maybe it's just like a test area. Like, all these look like maybe they just like spawn in and just like have some shit to kill here and there true early game as well what the fuck who's using that shit what is he doing fucking throwing cum rags at people cyclone armor This is level one shit though. Ice armor. Low intensity. Uh, Earth spike, low intensity, small area. I don't, what are they even showing here? I don't know. It's just showing off VFX. Oh. I mean, what determines the intensity? Yeah, like, does the skill get stronger over time? So, like, the effect gets bigger or something? Oh, that's actually kind of interesting. The fire looks the best. Old damage area. fucking rams if you see a guy spinning fucking run fucking run they're like fucking hypnotized by his spin oh my god that was like the clan leader you bitch god I 
I mean, fuck, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. The fire spells are, like, the sickest looking in the game. None of this is impressive. <laughs> bro, this is the future. This is where we're at with ARPGs right now. Okay, man. From AAA companies. That's where we're at right now. But, like, the style of this game... I don't know, man. I just want this game to be good. Despite all the bullshit. Okay? Is that so bad? Is that so fucking bad? Alright? And I understand where you're coming from, Mr. PoE. I understand, alright? You're fucking $800 in... 3,920 hours down. 10 seasons in. You're fucking... You're invested, okay? You don't want to see... Another potential hip new... Shit come out. Even though... This game is going to feel way more basic than what PoE gave the player. Because this is way more... At the same time, I'm not trying to defend the game. I just want this game to be good. Okay, maybe I'm still just heavily copiumed off of their fucking Lilith cinematic. Okay, but... I believe in the... Even though the company's fucked right now as well. <laughs> and like, there's so many... No way this is gonna keep... There's no way this is gonna be that great. And everything seems to be going down, down, down. Maybe. All right. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Weapon buff fire. Eh, that fire looks all right. Poison? No, guaranteed. Guaranteed, too. You know who's going to be there day one? You know who's going to be there day one? The guy who's like, We always better. We always better. And he's going to be fucking... He's going to be running around his fucking Act 3, whatever the fuck he does, all right? We always better. We always better. And then he's going to see all the fucking people playing fucking Diablo. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. And then he's going to look at Battle.net and then start fucking playing. Because it's a shiny new ARPG with the shiny current 2024 whatever the fuck release date. But in that regard too, I mean, still, PoE 2 is going to... Is there a, a release date for PoE 2? Because I'm waiting for PoE 2, okay? I'm not, I'm not waiting for another PoE patch. I'm waiting for PoE 2. 2024? Oh. Alpha next year. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Look, I like Diablo 2, but I'll be honest. Maybe I was a little too zoomer, but Diablo 2 just felt super slow to me compared to, like, my main dive-in to ARPGs that started with Diablo 3. Um, and then into PoE, and then into whatever the fuck else, you know? D2 was cool, what they did with it. It was cool that it was nostalgic. That game was never nostalgic to me and shit, but, like, still... Um, yeah. 